now we are going to move to understand these things related to the MS Word or word processing software. Number one, you just need to click on the icon below the taskbar or desktop. This is the screen of MS Word. You can access this software using different uh, shortcut keys or uh, processes or ways as like you just need to go through the start menu scroll down and then after select the software from the list here ms office microsoft office and then for it it is a way another way if you wanted to go through the commands you just need to go window r and type b dot and then press ok it will execute this application using this particular shortcut key using the window r window r is for the gateway of every software that is installed inside your computer so using using this software using this dialog box you can access any set of application available in your system or any administrative task also likewise uh, if you wanted to go through the control panel you just need to write control so it is a one of the application using it you can access all the applications of the resources of the software that is installed inside this system now come to the point uh, now how uh, we are going to start with ms word software the basics uh, we should discuss here that is uh, uh, how to any create a file number one point is create a file second one is saving current file opening existing file sharing files and uh, and exit from word app so yeah four five work we are going to discuss about it one after other so number one how to create a file actually uh, ms word provide you the first interface that is blank documentation so you don't need to create a file you just uh, going to uh, start with your content but if you wanted to create the documentation with the help of uh, with a specified format or templates then you should go through the file menu like i'm just going to click here and click on new in this part you will uh, identify the number of resources available here the blank documentation is the customized documentation or fresh documentation for the ms word so using this particular icon you can create a new or fresh file here and the rest of these are like agendas, brochures, uh, buzzards, business card, calendar, contact, diagram, envelope. So these are the templates actually. These are the pre-formatted document available uh, in your computer system online or offline. Using this particular feature, you can uh, utilize the resources that is already available. And here you just need to do only one task that is called editing. All the formatting jobs are already performed here. So you just need to go through the uh, icon and uh, create your own file that is already formatted. But uh, whenever you are going to uh, starting with uh, the new documentation or uh, wanted to create a fresh document for the MS Word, you just need to click on blank documentation and click here. So this is a way. Next one, uh, after editing. Hi, this is Gyanendra Barma. Okay, so now here is my documentation and uh, I wanted to actually, uh, it have a grammatically error that is, uh, Verma is not a word and Gyanin Verma is already available in my language dictionary that I have already added it. We will discuss, it, uh, discuss this particular uh, feature in upcoming videos. Now we are going to save this document. So to save this document, you just need to click on this uh, floppy icon here, that is a uh, save uh, button. 
or you can also avail control plus s to save the document otherwise you can go through the save option available here and click here here uh, in this particular uh, in this particular dialog box you can uh, identify the location where you wanted to save the document and uh, according to the nature of ms word the first line of the documentation is considered as the file name of ms word it is by default so you can see there is a term hi this is again so i'm just going to save it on my desktop okay just click here it will save and you can recall it you just need to close it first you just need to go through file exit or this red button both can be used okay cancel it here is the document as i uh, created right now and uh, if wanted if i wanted to uh, utilize the same with ms word then you just go through the file click on open and identify the location of the file actually it is a very general i think uh, uh, 100% people who is actually working on the ms word uh who is a beginner or intermediate or advanced jobio so they can ask, uh, they know this particular process that uh, how to handle with the existing file of the document next part if i wanted to utilize this application or this particular documentation like i'm just going to add a temporary or uh, this paragraph uh, is going to be saved just click on save button and after that you will uh, go through the save as option and uh, select the file type here is a list of uh, file type available here using it you can make this documentation for the different purposes like if you wanted to convert this document as doc uh, as web page you just use single file web pages or web pages option if you wanted to save this document as a plain that is text file then you just go through the plain text if you are working with uh, the open office org like software then you can also use open document text and if you wanted to make it a readable form then you just need to go through pdf so i'm just going to create a pdf for my documentation before creating the documentation uh, for the pdf file you just need to identify these things it is not uh, necessary but uh, it should be maintained to identify the details of this particular software as for example here is the term that is test title subject related to this document that means if you wanted to add the password to this document you just need to go through the tool menu tool option and click on general options here you will have the option to uh, encrypt your file with the password like i'm just going to add a password here for the opening and for the editing these two features uh, those two uh, passwords should be same to open or modify the document just uh, need to click on okay One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So now my document is going to be protected. This document is protected. Saving this document in the format other than a Word document will result in the loss of this protection. Do you want to continue? Yes. Now we are going to try this. Here is the document. actually in this particular feature it already says that if you are going to change this documentation from file system to another file system then this error will occur so there is another way to protect this particular document using this feature you just need to go through this one and click on customize reason and here is the option that is uh, advanced file language custom no no you just need to go through this one save as feature document and uh, set the password sorry general option and select the password and then okay okay after this when i open this document it asks password that means 
whenever you are going to convert a, your ms word file into pdf form then sometime this particular feature is not work because of uh, um, many reasons like your software is not uh, uh, original or uh, you are using the demo version so now i'm just going to add my password to open it and this is called sorry yes so in this way uh, you are going to understand that how to open or uh, protect your file there is also another way by which you can do it with the help of file menu you just need to go for the document protection and click on the encrypt with password so just uh, need to click here and set up your password it is already available because i have already set it so it is a one of the another way to protect your document now come to the point uh, how to open the existing file so you just need to go for the file menu and click on open and here you just need to select the file that you wanted to open now here is the document 